in this video I'll show you how to download and use Adobe Scan. So Adobe Scan is a mobile scanner app which is available for both iOS and Android platform and there are many scanner app available on the market but I found this one is very easy to use and not only that it doesn't have advertisements in it shows no watermark so let's go ahead and download this app from our app store or play store but before that if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and please hit that notification bell all right so let's open the app store you can search adobe scan and from the search result select adobe scan and you can download it since i've already downloaded this app i'll just simply type open now when you open this app for the first time we need to log in using our gmail accounts or facebook accounts or you can even use the option called sign up but for now let's get on signing in using gmail account you can click continues select the accounts you want wait for a while it loaded and now we are ready to create our first document so let's type on let's go so let's begin you can scan documents forms business card and whiteboard from this app so you don't always have to type on click buttons you just hold it steady and it will automatically detect your documents and it will click itself and you can type continues and you can click as much as documents you want so let's go ahead and we can see all the pages which we have scanned now click on the color to change the documents you can use auto originals whiteboard so i'll use auto because its outputs are amazing and the great things about this app is you can scan image from your gallery so click on the add page from here you can use camera to scan but for now let's select photo from our gallery so select any photos you want to add and click on right icons as you can see we have added photo from our phone galleries we can do many changes like you can clean up the documents like on this documents i want to remove this page number so type on the cleanup and you can zoom it a little bit and you can remove it by just typing and erasing it you can even use rotate to change the orientations now we can see some unwanted border lines so we can remove this by regrouping so click on group and repositions the cropping area and you can click on the right icon you can use reorder to reposition the pages by type and tracking and you can click ok once it is done type on the pen icons to rename the file name so i'll type my file and you can set event date and time so once you're done you just click ok now we have done all the necessary changes so click on the save as pdf option now your file is safe even in the cloud for a future access from anywhere so from here you can click share and you can send this documents on whatsapp or email terribly so that's it for this tutorials 